So ladies and gentlemen, today is both a very sad day and also a very exciting one. Today I get to take apart the iconic TechSource dream setup that I've been working so hard for the past several years. But the good news is, or the exciting part I should say, is that I am officially moving to my new home tomorrow and I get to restart the ultimate dream setup project so I guess you can say it's a bittersweet moment. So I'm gonna take one final look at this setup because it is not gonna look anything like this at the new place. In fact, I'm only going to take maybe a few things from this setup into the new one, like the custom keyboard, my uh, custom painted Electro Voice RE20 microphone, and then my uh, new audio interface that I recently picked up. I'm actually replacing everything else the monitors are gone, the speakers are gone, all the Natalie panels are gone. Goodbye, my beautiful Dragon Ball Super figurines. I miss you, I will miss you so much. And then goodbye to the uh, Jiren versus Goku with the life fix beams. Anyways, just, yeah, pretty much 95% of the setup is gonna be completely gone, especially the desk. As you guys can see, I removed the white electrical tape on the borders here. It was falling apart, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna rip it apart and destroy this desk when I move. But yeah, with that said, I guess it's time to slowly take it apart. Still gaming in 720p on your grandmother's monitor? Don't you think it's time for an upgrade? The Corsair Xenion is the ultimate gaming monitor that packs a ton of features, like an insane 32-inch Quad HD IPS display and 165Hz refresh rate with a one millisecond response time. If you're a gamer and content creator, you'll also enjoy the stunning accurate panel with 100% sRGB coverage. It also offers a nice amount of adjustability points, including height, swivel, and tilt with built-in cable management clips in the back. You already know it's TechSource approved. And with the built-in multi-mount in the back, you have the flexibility of adding anything you want, from lights to mics and even DSLR cameras. You know you want to learn more, so click the link below. First obvious thing we should do is turn off the PC. I'm gonna disconnect all the cables. I will most likely still use Big Red version 3.5 until obviously I build 4.0, which will probably take another two months or so. I don't anticipate my new setup being complete anyways within the next few months. I'd probably say another three or four months for it to be completely done. This will be a vlog series too, by the way, guys. It's not just gonna be one video because, you know, there's gonna be a lot of steps required or involved, I should say, building this from, uh, from the ground up. And I guess it'll be a really great way for you guys to also uh, follow along the journey or the progress of my ultimate dream setup in case you guys wanna take some tips or inspiration from it as well. Disconnect the M65B. I actually put an order for the M65C uh, from Rama a couple weeks ago. So if I do get that in next year or whenever it comes out, then I'll replace this one as well. Not a huge difference between the keyboards, but you know, obviously I always want to get the latest and greatest. So that will be the plan for that. My awesome Topo White TechSource mouse pad. I will put you... Okay, that works. I knew these straps would come in handy one day, you guys. Although I'm trying not to lift really heavy stuff because I'm still recovering from the surgery. So I think what I'll do with the PC is just move it over to the Alex unit over here. There we go, let's put that there. Look how much dirt or dust buildup there was underneath the PC, you guys. Oh my God, that's what happens when you neglect the, the maintenance. So this desk is actually gonna stay here at the house because all the stuff that I'm not taking with me to the new place will be thrown into the trash, basically. I'm gonna call a junkyard company or a junk company. They're gonna bring a huge dumpster and take away everything that I'm not gonna use. And this desk is gonna be one of those items. I guess we can remove the stuff from the pencil drawer as well. I'm not gonna use these anymore, but we do need the pens and the USB drives in here before I forget. What am I gonna do with these speakers? I'm not gonna use them in the new setup, which is a shame. Maybe I'll put, give them to my wife or something. Yeah. I think these will be a nice addition to her setup, actually. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we are losing sunlight fairly quick here in California because of daylight savings time. So I think I'm gonna turn the lights on real quick. Wow, that is super bright, hold up. All right, so let's go ahead and disconnect the speaker and the audio interface. Now that all the gear is disconnected, shall we take a look at the cable management, you guys? Oh my God. That is absolutely insane. You can kind of get a rough idea of how much gear I had connected in my setup just by looking at the cables, right? It might not seem like much because I did a really good job keeping everything clean and organized, but yeah, guys, I had so much freaking crap hooked up in my setup. It's unbelievable. I just can't wait to move and finally start building my ultimate dream setup. That's gonna be so freaking fun for me, guys. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for that, for that day to come. The PS5, I am definitely taking over to this setup. I don't know if I'll integrate it in the Ultimate Dream setup or put this in the loft and kind of create a separate console gaming setup, but we will, we will see. I think one of the things I wasn't really too happy about with this setup were the Natalie panels. I think I, I went a little overboard on them, if I'm being honest. It kind of took away the focus of the entire setup. Like there was just too much focus on the Natalie panels because it literally covered up the entire wall. So that's something I'm definitely going to think about for the new setup. There's still gonna be some Natalie panels in there, but I'm not gonna overdo it like I did with this one. I don't want that to be the focal point, if that makes any sense. Same thing with the uh, Dragon Ball figurines. I love that these add a bit of personality to the setup, but you know, again, I feel like there's, there should be a different dedicated spot for these aside from the setup, like it should complement the setup. It shouldn't be a part of the setup, if that makes any sense. So I might just pick up some like clear acrylic shelves and put them on the side there, but I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something out. I don't wanna get rid of them completely. I just want to put them somewhere else. So to kind of give you guys more of an idea of the, um, the approach I'm gonna take for the new setup, it's gonna be more on the mature side as opposed to like anime or gamery RGB, if that makes any sense. I mean, I still love RGB, don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna try and focus mostly on functionality over aesthetics. All right, let's take this sexy neon sign out of here. Oh God, I knew that was gonna happen, but you know what? I'm not gonna reuse this, so it's fine that it broke. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh my God, dude, what the hell? Did not expect that. Okie dokie guys, we are making some pretty good progress. I would say we are a little more than halfway done taking apart the dream setup. Not much of a dream anymore, I guess, but uh, I wanna leave the Natalie panels at the end. I'm actually really curious to see how much they're gonna damage the wall as I peel them off. I'm really scared, actually, to tell you the truth. But I guess we can take this time to remove the Govi glide bars and the poster from this plate, and then we can move on to the monitors. Oh, these come off really easily, okay. Look at that. The question is, will you peel off? No, you will not. Wow, nice. Really nice 3M tape that Govi used. So this side of the wall is not gonna get damaged at all. What about the disc plates? I'm a little worried about the disc plates. Oh, nice, okay. That peels off really easily. Look at that guys, no damage to the wall. In case you're curious, if you ever wanna pick up a display, you don't have to worry about any of the paint coming off or drywall coming off. All right, time to remove the monitors. I'm actually not gonna use any of these displays. I'll be upgrading from a dual stack monitor setup to a TIE Fighter quad display setup. It's going to be insane, you guys. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, that, whew, that could have taken off my eye. So yeah, don't do what I'm doing, guys. This is probably the worst way to take apart a mounted monitor. So this bottom ultralight is actually hooked up to a TV mount. That's why I was able to kind of tilt it at an angle on the bottom of the desk. So I think I can just pull it out. I completely forgot how I even mounted this thing, to be honest. Oh, okay, so there are screws in the bottom. How the hell did I even tighten that? I think the best way to take this off the actual bracket is to remove the wall mounts. And I cannot do that. This drill is not strong enough. So I might be in luck, you guys. I found a set of wrenches. So if I can just find the right size to fit this bolt over here, I can remove this entire wall mount. So I guess wish me luck. Maybe this one, please. Too big. Okay, let's try one size down. Hallelujah, guys. It is a perfect fit. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna do the job. It's gonna take a while, because that is stuck deep inside there. I tend to go very deep on a lot of things. Jesus Christ, dude, I swear. Oh, well that came off easily, okay. I can work with that. All right guys, only one thing left to do, and that is to remove the nano leaf panels. I am so afraid that this is going to ruin my wall. Oh my God, these are stuck on here really good. Yep, thought so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you go with 3M VHB tape. I've mentioned it millions of times before. If you use 3M VHB, especially against drywall, you're gonna take a piece of the wall with you when you finally peel it off. This entire wall is gonna basically need a lot of repairing and repainting. So I do have a painter coming in a few days to repair all the walls in my home and then do a fresh coat of paint. That way I can rent it out to the person that's renting this place out in January. Unfortunately, that is only half the battle, you guys. As you can see, the VHP adhesive is attached to each of the nano leaf panels. So I'm gonna have to use a chisel or a flathead to scrape these off each individual panel. That's gonna take at least a minute per panel. And well, we have close to 50 panels. So yep, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here is what is left of my setup, you guys. Wow, it's, it's actually gone. Everything is gone. The only thing left is the desk. This is, uh, this is a very sad time, but you know what? All good things do come to an end. I think we can close the chapter of this epic saga and start a new chapter tomorrow. So I'm really, really excited and I'm looking forward to my new ultimate dream setup.